A United Nations report indicates that the killings and injuries of Afghan civilians hit a new high last year as fighting worsened between the government and insurgent forces. UN up close this week, our Oh Young reports. The number of casualties among civilian men, women and children in 15 years of war in Afghanistan reached an all-time high last year, according to a new United Nations report. In 2016, UNAMA documented 11,418 civilian casualties, an overall 3% increase compared to the previous record high documented in 2015. The report shows that 3,498 civilians were killed in conflict-related instances and 7,900 were injured. About a third of those affected were children, the number up 24% from the previous record-breaking figure. 923 were killed and almost 2,600 of them were injured. According to the report, ground engagements between rebels and pro-government forces were the leading cause of the casualties, with improvised explosive devices, along with suicide and complex attacks. Nearly two-thirds of the casualties were caused by anti-government forces, mainly the Taliban, while a quarter was prompted by pro-government forces. The UN Secretary General's Special Representative for Afghanistan, Tadamichi Yamamoto, urged all parties to take immediate concrete action to protect the lives of civilians. He called for a stop to fighting in civilian populated areas and public spaces, such as schools, hospitals and mosques. However, fighting in Afghanistan is largely expected to worsen this year, after negotiation efforts between the Afghan government and the Taliban collapsed last summer prompting Taliban militants to advance into major cities. The UN said last month that the continued deepening of the conflict caused a rise of 13% in the number of people in need of humanitarian assistance to 9.3 million this year. The organization appealed for a response plan worth 550 million US dollars to provide shelter, food, health care, nutrition, water and sanitation to affected people. Oh Young, Arirang News.